So I'm going to start off by cleaning the cabochons with some rubbing alcohol. I want to clean the fronts and the backs. I want to make sure there's no lint or fingerprints on the back side of them or they're going to be glued down. So to glue the cabochons down onto the acrylic skins, I use Mod Podge Dimensional Magic Glue and I use about a pea size amount you can see here. I just pour it on the back of the, the cabochon there, that bubble. That's not a good thing, but I'm going to press that bubble out of there. I've already figured out what area that I'm going to put it in. That looks like a little waterfall to me, so I like that area. Looks like I put maybe a little bit too much glue on there. I didn't want quite that much to squeeze out of the back, but I'm holding it for about 10 to 20 seconds. I'm pushing out all of the air bubbles. And you'll see me go in and I'll wipe some of that off with some uh, just pieces of uh, good paper towel. Here you can see me, I'm moving around that cabochon. I'm trying to find a good design. Uh, after you've been doing this a little while, you kind of know what you like. You just move it around until you figure out exactly where you need it. I did want you to know this isn't a full tutorial how to do this. If you want to find a full tutorial on my channel, there is a fluid art making full tutorial there. It'll show you how to make these skins and some of these steps that I'm doing here, but it's much more in-depth tutorial. I'm making several things today. I've got a few spinner necklaces and a key necklace, and it looks like there's some bookmarks there. So I'm putting on a little bit of E6000. This E6000 is the white. It's all I had. Normally I use the clear, and I would suggest you use the clear. And I'm pressing down and making sure that stays in there, but uh, the first one, I don't take a long time pressing it down because there's two that goes on the spinner. So you'll see after I place the second one in, then I'll decide how long it needs to be pressed down. This one looks just gorgeous. This is a little closer view of that gluing down into the, the jewelry tray. Give it a little press and then I'm going to work on the other side here in a second. There you can see the spinner and how that works. Grab another cabochon and I'm turning it around in my hand and putting it there. I want to see what's going to be the, the best look. Now I'm going to do a little bit more glue in here. showing you how it spins and what it looks like here with the two different colors. I really like putting two things in there that are really different. That way you're really getting two necklaces for the price of one. And really it's just as simple as repeating this process over and over for the bookmarks and the rest of the jewelry. I thought I'd show you a little bit about cutting out the skins. Like I said before, I have another video that's a full tutorial how to do this. So you can see how I do the swipes and what the skins are on and all of that. This is just how I cut them out. And I'm just using regular old pair of scissors. I'm kind of angling away from the cabochon. And I want to make sure I've got a nice clean edge for when I put it in the tray. Nothing else is sticking out. I'll go around and give that a really good trim. But you can see I kind of have uh, three or four, sometimes two cabochons on the one area that I've got pulled out. It's just a little bit easier to work with that way. When I cut these out, I kind of do it strategically. You can see here, I want to go this way. I don't want to go clear across an area that I can use for another necklace. So I go like the least resistance, the least I've got to cut and ruin that sheet there. 
then I just go around it. I could just go around it nice and neat here. And I think maybe that's what I do here, but sometimes it's just easier to work, like I said earlier, without all of that paper in your way. Seems like I have to trim less off when I do it that way. Wow, these turned out just great. I love those neon colors. I see some abstract designs that I really like. I see some things that look like butterfly wings to me, things that look like dragon scales, just a gamut of different designs here. They are really radiate. So there's this thing called pareidolia where you can see faces and things. Look here, I'm going around this circle. Can you see that face? the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Doesn't that look like Freddie Mercury? I think this jewelry speaks for itself. I'll let you take a look at it. If you're in my area, please come to one of the galleries you see here. I'd love to see you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm really looking to get some more subscribers so I can make some more of these videos.